Outside the Norview Community Center sits the Storyteller, and it serves a very specific purpose. We can call up crime on that, 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 and here. So high, it's almost like touching, well, you know what. You can hey, see the whole view. Like Even these young eyes know art when they see it. When the builders make it, um, they have make sure the eyes and the nose and everything good so it won't melt. The story of Norview, a snapshot of Norfolk. Hopefully there's enough art that you don't have to care about every single one or like every single piece, but you understand that in Norfolk we, we are trying to be enlightened. The first steps to turn Norfolk's landscape into a canvas for public art began in 2006. The city mirrored hundreds of localities nationwide by capturing 1% of any city capital improvement project, more than $500,000 for the design and installation of public art. The process relies heavily on community involvement to ensure each piece is unique and a reflection of an area where it sits. With more than 30 pieces around the city, art is turning up everywhere and on everything, like parking garages, thanks to a summer program pairing students with artists from all over. The one right outside the mayor's office on um, Bush Street, those ceramic murals that are, um, that was a summer, and we worked, we went to Booker T and used their kiln and their clay room. And oh, I like this one. These are the faces of the Ingleside Light Rail okay. Station. Students at the Governor's School for the Arts created the glass panels from self-portraits of second grade Ingleside Elementary students. The instructions were simple. We got in the groups and we asked them questions about like how they felt about their neighborhood and what makes their home special. Portrait of a community created by its youngest residents and immortalized by those just now experiencing the world around them. It's just uh, a good feeling to know that I took part in something in the public and that other people can enjoy it when they're driving past the light rail and to know that I had part in that, that's really cool to me. It's like taking a dive into the future, overcoming past fears and um, just diving into something great. Betty Potts sees great things for her neighborhood when the new Southside Aquatic Center is finished. We're thinking about doing something with that landfill over there, oh. making a walking trail for people to kind of put some art pieces back there. But it's in front where dirt sits now that will define what's to come. So he wanted to portray a woman diving and so I just posed as a woman diving into water and that's pretty much it. Potts doesn't know what the art will look like yet but as someone who learned how to swim late in life she knows what it means. Art is a sign of hope. It gives, you know, this is something beautiful. If we had a community or a city or a country without art, I mean, just think about how gloomy it would be. From the obvious to a glimpse of what's to come. The big waterside drive project that we're getting ready to do, we're looking at it as a real transitional point from, um, you know, big traffic off the interstate to now you're in downtown Norfolk, slow down. Love us. Public art connecting communities, unique statements of who we are and what we aspire to be. It's so fun that we could be on TV. <laughs> everybody can have fun climbing on all the stuff. Just go to www.norfolk.gov to find all the locations of public art throughout the city and see for yourself just how these amazing pieces of art enhance the city we call home. For Norfolk News Now, I'm Lori Crouch.